Welcome back from the weekend and uh, my name is Melad Zmilo aka Fula. I'm back with the biggest stories making headlines in the country right here on the Buzz UG. And uh, don't forget to subscribe but also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now if you thought abductions in Uganda ended with 2022, my friend calm down, have some water and take a chill pill because another His Excellency Bobby Wine's bodyguard famously known as Bobby Young was abducted yesterday in a drone by armed people in plain clothes at a place called Maya as they returned from Barara City. Now according to NUP principal His Excellency Bobby Wine, Bobby Young was violently abducted and right now they don't know where he's been taken. However, Bobby Wine says the Aligo team has started making inquiries to establish his whereabouts and they'll be giving us the details. Bobby Young becomes the second Bobby Wine's bodyguard to be abducted after Jamshid Kavuma was released from CMY two months ago. Now, some people on social media have said that the Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honorable Anita Monk, is behind this guy's abduction because of this post Bobby Young put up on his Facebook platform three days ago. You know, he posted the speaker's bleached fingers and captioned, Magogo is a man. Actually, Magogo is the husband. So he captioned, Magogo is a man. I respect you, brother. And this is said to have annoyed the Speaker of Parliament. Well, we also remember last year, a gentleman called John Sentamu was abducted and later sentenced after posting something disturbing to the speaker on Twitter. And right now, it's Bobby Young. However, we are yet to hear from Uganda police on this matter and I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Now, police yesterday arrested His Excellency Bobby Wine's supporters in Jinja district on allegations of holding an unlawful assembly in Jinja city. Nitwa <laughs> Bamaliriza baku ya masasi mbanga, bako seza abantu, baku ya abantu na abataba deku mkolo. According to Kira Region Police Spokesperson, Mr. James Mubi, he says three vehicles were inbounded after being used for transporting Bobby Wine's supporters to the venue. Bali kumina basara, ila bali mkukumi waku CPS Jinja, kuwa gudeko msangogo kwe njigira mkuku ngana, ulume nyamateka, uwa taking part in unlawful assembly. Ite each for chawai msi boba gana baga amba niti mkubuki inga babuki inga anga wamanyi mbaga mbaga wedding kakati mbaga echuketia nevira ate ulukungana uruli politiku ngate lume nyama teka Meanwhile, the other day, President Museveni's son, Jeno MK was in Bale in a similar situation but nobody was arrested we have also seen videos of people on social media confessing that they were ferried to the venue just like police says it was in Jinja, but no vehicle was inbounded. Nobody was arrested. Well, there you go. That is Uganda Police for you. A very political institution we have in Uganda right here. Now, this woman is called Colin Adiek from Lira District, Northern Uganda. She's been sentenced to seven years imprisonment. She's accused of intentionally injecting her stepson, five years old, with her HIV positive blood. Oh my goodness. Now, while appearing before the court sitting in Lira City, Odiek pleaded guilty to the charge and the presiding chief magistrate sentenced her to seven years. Actually, it was supposed to be 10 years, but the magistrate said because Odiek was very remorseful, she was given seven years. However, many people have said this woman was supposed to be given a death sentence because how do you do this to a very innocent child? 
Anyway, that is it from Northern Uganda. I don't know what you think about this story, but if you have anything on your mind, the comment section is very open for you. Well, this is The Buzz UG, and my name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. Do not forget to subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications, but also contact the big man, Haj Luzi Omsomi Wedua, on that number right there for you. Bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.